and watch the smoke swirl up through the bony breasts of the mallies and disappear into the dark cold night. I poke the fire and sparks fly, popping and hissing, scattering a mob of fireflies like a flock of cockatoos. Time stands still as I stare into the burning coals. Brilliant hues of colours, blue, green, red, orange and yellow. And as the fire grows dim and the night creeps in, I get this feeling like someone or something's out there in the darkness, lurking in the shadows watching me. I try and cast these thoughts aside. Then I remember the old fella telling me a story about this place. I can still see him sitting across me from the fire, shadows and smoke dancing across his webbed face. Yeary, the hairy man, he said. I seen him, wild creatures, six to eight foot tall, and covered all over with hair. Way back when I was a boy, I was with me old man and Billy Boy, his dad's dog, camped in the Pilliga. And early that day, while wandering through the scrub, I come across some sort of shelter, huge, built from trees, bark, and branches. Billy Boy started barking. Something was bothering him. Dad comes up looking about cautiously and told me, We got to get starting to get dark, he said. We got to get back to camp. Later that night, we just finished some baked beans, billy tea and damper and was getting ready to settle in for the night. Dad stoked the fire and I laid back staring up at the night sky. The wind picked up and came aimlessly through our camp, bringing with it a stench I can't describe. Just then Billy Boy started snarling and barking into the scrub behind us. Dad's up and yelling, Billy boy, stay. When all of a sudden, he takes off barking into the darkness. And suddenly, the night is shattered by terrifying scream of pain. And all is still and eerily quiet. Dad holds up a burning stick trying to see a little bit better, yelling out for Billy Boy. And suddenly we catch a fleeting glimpse of a huge hairy creature. We sat by the fire all that night, until first light. Dad told me to stay by the fire while he went to look for Billy Boy. We walked back and home in silence. We never did see Billy Boy again. And I never went back. across uh, Australia, different parts of the country, and uh, there have been sightings, well, stories go back from the dream time, and that's a long time.